Good day, everybody. This is Arni uh, coming to you live with another exciting game. It's Group Three, a uh, Group E matchup um, of this XTC tournament. Group E, Round Three between Canada and South Africa. So, uh, yeah, we've got uh, Jean Pierre. Jean, sorry, Jean Francois. Sorry about that. <laughs> I have a, we have a JP in South Africa, so it's confusing. And we've got Jean Francois against Peter. John Francois first order against Peter Galactic Republic. So uh, yeah, guys, we gonna see what happens in this game. This is gonna be pretty cool. We've got uh, let's go through the list quickly. We've got uh, Peter flying the Galactic Republic. Anakin, Anakin with his shenanigans. <laughs> um, Anakin in the Eta Two, uh, and then he has got Malice, uh, Uncalorie Iron Weapons, R Two D Two. That's the Siege of Coruscant, Anakin. We've got standard Panama, Marksmanship, Proton Torpedoes, and Passive Sensors. We have um, the three Orc, the three Orc Trio again, Jag, Oddball, and Wolf. Both, uh, all three of them as the Siege of Coruscant. Um, Veteran Tail Gunner, R4P Astromech, um, Synchronized Console. Then we've got Selflessness on Oddball, Veteran Tail Gunner, and R4P Astromech. And on Wolf, we've got Wolfpack, Virgin Tail Gun, and Astromech. So, it's uh, one of the most played type of uh, metalists on Peter's side, uh, with all the arcs. It has an, uh, the Naboo Padme. Padme has that ability to prevent that one, a uh, one and more focus result being changed by a focus uh, token. Then we've got John Francois. Trying the first order with uh, most of all the the Thai Thai fighters in general uh, with color in. So let's just go through that quickly. Commander Malaris on his normal standard cluster missile loadout. Uh, then we've got Lieutenant Gallic, marksmanship and tractor beam. Lieutenant Gallic is quite is quite nice as well. Um, it might perform a coordinate action when a friendly ship range two to three is destroyed. Zero to two is destroyed. And uh, even while stressed. Um, yeah, can only obviously coordinate and ship which has that action and action bar can only perform that action. Right, then we've got DT798. Um, while you perform a primary attack, if you are not strained, you may gain one strain token to roll one of your salt dice. So it's basically almost the same as uh, Mr. Scorch here. You just get a strain instead of a stress. So, um, yeah, so then it's got Scorch as well, it's got Midnight, um, Scorch got Fanatical and Crack Shots, um, DT-708 has got Deuterium Power Cells, actually a new one actually, I haven't played play with that specifically. During the system phase you may spend one Surge and you gain this Arm Token to recover a Shield. Oh wow, so before you would gain one non-lock non token, if you're not stressed you may spend one Surge as well. Oh. Yeah, to gain one stress token instead. That's pretty cool, so you can recover a shield with that. That's pretty interesting. And then uh, we've got Midnight with Crash Shot and Predator. And then we've got Kylo Ren in the Time Whisper, Modified Interceptor. So this is a little bit a different version of the original Thai Silencer. Whisper is a different type of ship in general. Uh, instinctive Aim, Malice, Markmanship, Concussion Missiles. It's got sensor scramblers, you can gain a cloak token uh, during setup. And um, that's interesting. Um, then you must decloak if there's an enemy ship within range 0 to 3 at the end phase. Uh, then you've got munitions failsafe and enhanced jamming suite. Right, so Carlos ability before you before an enemy ship in your Bullseye Arc is dealt face down damage card, you may spend one force. If you do, that damage card is dealt face up instead. So yeah, interesting matchup here guys. Um, we've got Republic on the one side. And we've got the First Order on the other side. So nice. So, Chance Engagement is the scenario for this specific uh, game so chance engagement for those who are new to x-wing and don't know is um that is 
in the middle of the board there is a satellite for that satellite um you can roll not roll sorry i'm looking at different things here <laughs> satellite in the middle of the board whoever is at the satellite at rate zero to two if they're only their ships there you gain two points if you are contesting you get one point each for each player all right so let's see what happens here um let's get the word out a little bit more for the stream All right, so let's see where it is. Now it's uh, very early for Jean-Francois, just to establish it's uh, only seven o'clock in the morning. So uh, it's very early. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a big time gap between South Africa and Canada and so uh game's a little bit difficult to schedule properly for for decent times but we got a decent time yeah so uh let's see what happens so as per for normal play um not normal play but as per usual play we see the arcs at the bottom of the field in one big massive pile and uh, they are going to obviously try to fly as much as possible together to be able to benefit from the the um abilities let's say jag after you perform after finish up range zero to two in your side arcs performs an attack if you're not strained you may cry a lock on the defender if you are not strained but it doesn't say okay they would another finish up range zero to two defends if you're not strained it may spend a focus and evade tokens if that ship as then, if it does, you gain a strain token. So basically, you might gain a strain token, preventing that lock on defender. Oddball. Okay, I see Anakin is down. Just move the stuff out of the way here. Cool. So yeah, okay, so Anakin is down, so basically all the arcs at the bottom, yeah, they must, as mentioned, fly as, as not close as possible to each other, but as together as possible to benefit from all the, from all the, what's his name, is just the nice benefits of having that synergy. The tie FOs at the top, yeah, see a nice big bunch of tie FOs there on the top, so they might actually fly fast and quick as well to maybe come down the middle uh, with the two in the bottom here so we've got uh, oh I must just probably just change my color on my what's his name is on my what's his name apologies everybody <laughs> still have my cursor there <laughs> yeah so we've got DT7 and 8 here in the middle of the field with Scorch like I mentioned, Scorch getting that uh, stress token. And then getting extra dice as well as DT. Also taking a strain token to get extra dice. To give you guys a little bit more context, um, between these two teams, Canada has, uh, I think, one, two. Uh, give me a second to make sure they've got the random and hidden. Yep, so let me roll. All right, so... Yeah, John Pronto got the initiative to set up the what's his name is this? Um satellite uh, um, asteroids. So it looks like John also won the initiative this side. No, sorry, Peter got. It. No, John got it. blue, blue, yes. Jean Francois has got the initiative in this round. Turn one. And uh yeah, the guys are on their way. So they should have this first turn in this game, round three, game three, group E, Canada versus South Africa. Quickly go through that Scorch Midnight. Midnight is a very interesting one. At six initiative, if you have a lock on a defender, they kind of modify any dice. 
it can be pretty pretty brutal in some stages <laughs> um so yeah and looks like they're off uh peter's uh jag that is at least a three went to two forward and we've got a three forward here from scorch and a three a two forward from dt dt barrel rolling with scorch taking a focus okay making a small little train going down there i see i see i see <laughs> And then it is wool, and it's the four moving, two forward and a focus, and uh, yeah, just adding that uh, surge. What happens if wolf uses that surge? Um, if you sp spend one surge to reroll attack dice while you perform an attack at the back, you may. Okay, so you re-roll if you're shooting out the front, and you recover if you're shooting out the back. Re uh, recover one surge to roll one additional dice. So you recover, shoot out the back, and you spend rolling a uh, re-rolling a dice out the front. So both uh, two forward from from Wolf there and Padme going a three forward. If I'm mistaken. I think I might have missed that move. Padme, I think went to three forward. A uh, four forward, sorry, four forward for Padme. And he's deciding if he wants to... Okay, so he added the focus token to Padme. And then next is Commander Malarus. Commander Malarus goes forward to straight. Taking focus. And we've got Lieutenant Gallic also taking a focus going forward. Ooh, five straight and a boost there from Ty Whisper. Ooh, I don't mean business. And then Jag, calmly, uh, oddball, calmly taking a two hard left turn. And I think the. Uh, ooh, I wonder what Spear going to do. He doesn't take focus, which usually the the play for the first round. He's doing a little bit of interesting tactic, barrel rolling. That is interesting indeed. And with that, he gets stressed because the barrel is indeed red. One hard turn here from Anakin. I also saw a fire straight there from um, Midnight. Anakin doing a one heart to the right barrel rolling in and um yeah i think that's all the activations the so six activations on the side for jean francois and then only five activations down here for peter so round is done end of the round stuff happens whatever they do to do from there Right here. Okay, so round two is about to start too. Mm -hmm. Players are getting their things ready. Um, sorry, I was busy actually saying the score for this this tournament between these two guys at the moment. Uh, there was a game played yesterday, but unfortunately I couldn't stream. And... Um, Let's see what happened in that game. So we did. Okay, so it looks like we are 2 0 so far um, between Canada and South Africa. <laughs> 2 0 at the moment for Canada leading, but uh, there's still three games to go. So it all depends on these three games, who is going to take top spot between these two teams. <laughs> Guys getting their, their what's the name is ready.
Hmm. Veteran Tail Gun is always fun. Arc 170. Perform a primary attack, you may perform a bonus attack out the rear arc as well. Which is pretty cool. I usually play that on the TIE SF for the first order. Which is pretty cool. Alright. Guys checking their dials to make sure it's ready before they start. Don't think any other stuff has been well killed. Road roll. Let's see who gets it. It is Peter, first player. This round. Boom. Round two. Turn two. It's round three for this game. <laughs> Turn two for this game. And there is a system phase barrel roll from Anakin. And I don't think that's going to fit good, sir. I don't know. Is it? Yeah, orange usually is no. Orange is no, green is yes. So you can only do a forward boost, a barrel roll. So that's Anakin's system phase barrel roll. So, uh, the other game I saw Anakin got hit with a 5 dice attack, all hits, and obviously the the usual meme for this one is Annie, are you okay? <laughs> so one forward there from Jag, um, Jag is green, yes, one forward there from Jag, as well as a one forward from Wolf, and then... Um, We've got a one forward from Padme as well. The one forward from Padme. I think Padme took an evade again there. We've got a two bank turn from um, Scorch. And then we've got a two bank turn again from DT789. With a barrel roll to the right hand side. Let's go one forward there from Oddball. One forward from Oddball. Focus as well, taking away the stress because it's a blue maneuver. Tyler Redden, two forward. Question is is he going to maybe boost again? He boosted the previous round. Hmm. Oddball's uh, ability is quite nice. After executing red maneuver or perform a red action, you, you can choose a finish up range 0 to 3 of an enemy or at enemy and an enemy range 0 1. Choosing a friendly ship gains a lock on enemy ship. So basically, you just basically help the other ship getting a lock. Pretty interesting. Okay, we've got three straights and two straights here from everybody else. We've got a three straight from Malaris, we've got a two straight from Gallic, and we've got a what is it? Uh Midnight still needs to go as well. And again doing a one heart to the left. And again doing a and then a three straight from Midnight. And I think that is the activation round. Cool. Anakin is there to shoot first. Can you shoot anything? Midnight definitely can't shoot anything. There's nothing there. Oh, that is close there. Almost an arc there for Kylo Ren. Arc there for Scorch. No. Is there arc in range? No. Nothing. So this round, there is no shots. Not enough range and arc for both these guys. And Anakin and... DT is close enough, or oh, and scores is close enough to that center satellite to score both each one point. Chance engagement scenario, you do get half points if your ship has been hot. 
So, yeah, the guys must uh, must make sure they don't get shot. <laughs> Right, so round turn three is going to start soon and put the turn up to turn three so long and uh, initiative is going to be decided as soon. Hmm. And it'll be interesting to see now what Peter is planning with the with the arcs. Is he going to hit straight in up the middle? Jean Franchard's got a little bit more of a of a spread there on top. Casting a little bit of a more of a wider net. And all all depends how the ships turn in as well. So we have to wait on a sea. Okay, guys, I should have but should have finishing up with the with the dials, making sure the dials are good. And here we go, round three. And Peter takes the initiative again. Alright, so there's going to be another system phase barrel roll here from Anakin. So, uh, it's going to be interesting to see. And at one bank up in... Okay, so, Peter's not going too aggressively here. You know, the... I know the Rebels is usually one forward to victory. Um, whether the Republic has also um, has also uh, 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 inherited that, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be joined soon by one of my fellow commentators. Oh, come on. I was going to Yeah, so that may also went in one bank as well. We've got Scorch and DT789 doing a one hard turn in. That's an interesting turn. Um I think DT did a battle roll there. Um, yeah, DT did a barrel roll. We've got a one bank in here from yellow, which is Oddball in the orc. And uh, so now it will be Commander Malarus. I'm going to call him Pinky. <laughs> Commander Malarus is now turned in as well. And then um, too hard in as well from Gaelic. Ooh, and Silencer too hard left in as well. Question is, is he just going to focus up or is he going to move further? Does he have double maneuver actions? Let me just check if he has. Um, we'll see just now. 
Uh, if he has double maneuver actions, uh, I can't play with the tire whisper. Yes, he does. Linked actions. So, um, yeah, that's really cool. So I'm just joined here by one of my fellow community players, Carl. Welcome. <laughs> uh, hang on, I think. Let me just check here. I think. All right, let's try it again. I'm joined by Carl. Hello, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had you muted for a second. <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, I didn't uh, enable the Discord audio. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much for joining. Yeah, you, you, you sounded a little bit lonely, blah, lonely, mm, lonely there. Lonely. Wow. I'm going to start to sing I'm a song. <laughs> so tongue twisted all of a sudden. Tongue tied. <laughs> tongue tied indeed. So uh, interesting what's happening at the moment here. All, all of the ships of the FO turned in. Um, midnight as well turned into bank on top there. Yeah, they all turned in, and now yeah. it seems like they're turning away. It's going to be go around the rock. It might be, yeah. So Anakin has got a range three shot on both Scorch and Kylo. So now he must just let us know who is he going to shoot at. So Annie shoots first, and he seems to thinking of oh, is it going to be? Kylo or the FN? Well, if I were Peter, yeah, I would try and burn Kylo off the board as quickly as possible. Yeah. So it looks like it is Kylo. And uh, Anakin's, I think Anakin's ability is... Kylo's only shooting with three, uh, defending with three dice, right? Um, yes, his normal agility is two. And that is a hit and two blanks from Peter with Anakin. Yeah. And then three dice rolls there for, for Kylo and using his force. So with two focuses and the rank uses his force to change one focus to an evade. So no hits there on Kylo. Checking for Orc on the rest of the guys. Then Kylo next to shoot. Kylo, Kylo firing on Anakin. Yeah, Kyla Phony Anakin, that's the only one. Oh, well, you can shoot at uh, what's name as well. Um, Jack. Jack as well. That is a hit focus and a crit. Oops, sorry. Hit focus crit. And he's obviously spending another force to change the focus to a hit. No, he's spending the focus. No, he spent the force. Oh, did he spend the focus? He spent the focus this time, yep. Oh. He spent the force in the last shot, in the evasion shot. Okay. Okay, so that, yeah, well, <laughs> same result. Um, but why did he dip another force? He spent the first force to do the evade. So why did he do the second one? Okay, well, Anakin's getting shot here. Um, loose stabilizer crit. Loose stabilizer crit. Let's see. Loose stabilizer on Anakin. So that is. Hit a crit. Anakin down to one hole. Oh, that's nasty. That is nasty indeed. And that is him half points. Which means Jean Francois gets two points. One point. Two points. Two points. Sorry. Two points. Anakin is four. Each ship in this list of Peter is four points. The half point is going to be two every single time. I think from this whole engagement, I think that's the only two shots. Anakin and uh, Kylo Ren is the only two that's able oh. to shoot. Scorch just, just out there of drag. Yeah, just, just. Um, and then half points for Anakin. You guys are playing chance engagement. Doesn't seem like he's passed it over. And again, it does only have three, three hull, yes. This yeah. is chance engagement. Is chance engagement. There we go. Yeah. They, they realized. <laughs> 
So points up as well on my side. So that is four to two. Yeah, it's four to two. Okay. So, Carl, you you sub for the team, right? Indeed. Are you gonna get? I haven't a... played a game yet. <laughs> Are you you gonna get a chance to play next round? Maybe. Um, I. Reynard is basically saying I should take on his list, which is an FO list. Okay. And. The amount of played Effo I can count on one hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I'm probably like the longest running X-Wing player in our community at the moment. Yeah, you mostly <laughs> so focus on, focus on Rebels the whole time. Anyway. Yeah, Rebels and Resistance mainly. Yes, correct. Okay, well, let's see how it goes. Uh, let's see if um, I do actually take it on, but that uh, should be interesting if I do. Mm. Um, just got to find out when and if the game has already been arranged. Yeah, you just have to wait for that too. Yeah. And pairings are usually on Sunday evening, so that's the next round. Yeah. Um, right here, so let's see what's happening here now. So, um, looks like there is going to be a, a big massive battle for the middle by the looks of it. Like it, like it usually is. So... Uh, I can't say it's becoming a late joust, <laughs> but it's definitely not uh, an early joust. Well, we can see, I mean, if if Peter's trying to catch out the two ties that are coming down the, the side. side, is that now well, down the right side of the board? For us, it's down the right side, yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to get both screens open. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah if, he, if he tries to catch those two ties, it might be easy to burn those down but then he leaves kylo alone and that might be a bit of a problem mm. no definitely um I so i mean i i faced i faced a similar ish list during our um world's qualifier oh yeah and i must say like taking kylo off early is a big like disruption to any fo list mm. I mean, it, it, it is, first of all, a blow to morale. And secondly, you know, taking him off the board, it, it just makes things a lot simpler to concentrate on everything else. Yes, correct, yeah. I mean, the tie, the tie, um, tie Epos, the fighters, they don't always hit that hard because obviously they're still tie fighters and they shoot with two dice. Um, but uh, obviously, because the modifications they can add, like Scorch and DD, add one more dice. It's always a, a threat at three dice. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, one more dial to be said here for Peter. So, I mean, Peter's definitely going to try and keep Padme a little bit to the back. Um, he's just going to try and keep Padme at range three so that he can obviously deny those um, focus modifications or dice modifications, should I say? Yeah, correct, yeah. Um, Anakin's going to be the interesting one. I mean, if if I were Peter in this case, you know, like, but my advice is not always the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, I would <laughs> definitely try and throw Anakin to the left around that rock. Just get him out of out of combat and come in from the rear. Because I mean, if if Peter puts Anakin anywhere near one of those shoots, ships shooting at him, you know, in one hole left, he's probably going to burn quickly. Mm. Okay, so that is first player to Jean Francois. Oh, whoa! Where did that go? <laughs> Catch it quickly! Flying dive. <laughs> uh, you don't see that every day, folks. <laughs> At least I, I throw my ship around on the board. Woo! <laughs> anyway. Right. So, seems like there's no system phase barrel roll here from Anakin, with Jag moving too straight. 
Oh, so hard one right turn in from Scorch. And then DT with a two bank in. Also with a focus, so both in focus. So Scorch and DT both focusing. Now it is uh, Wolf. I finished a four. Also doing a three straight though. And then we've got Pad by two straight for Padme. Padme has to. Where is Padme list? Has Padme. to be in arc. Has to be in arc, yes. Um, she's got a passive sensor trigger, which she used. Mm -hmm. Now waiting to see what she's going to decide in the engagement phase. Right, so target lock attempt there from Commander Malaris. It's going to try and go for Anakin, probably. It's probably going to be Anakin, but it all depends. Well, Anakin obviously still has to move, so if he moves in or out of Arc, but it wouldn't be a, 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 a yeah. I think Jag being the low initiative might be a better option. It looks like the focus is going off on Jag at the moment. They move, but and I, he might just actually use that. Ah, there we go. There's Kylo. I was going to say he might actually just use Kylo for for An Anakin's engagement. Kylo doing a two yeah. bank to the right hand side. I still think it's very wise for Peter to try and send Anakin up the left and then maybe yeah. around that rock. Yeah, because yeah, if yeah. he does that, it'll put Scorch behind the rock, firing at Anakin. Yeah, and uh, Kylo won't be firing at Anakin, which will be a good thing, I would say. Mm -hmm. So Kylo attempted a jam there within range one, and then he saw Bullseye is working. So Bullseye is range two. If you perform a jam, so the jam was done there on Anakin from Kylo. It was a focus into a jam action. Midnight. Also taking a target lock on Anakin. Taking that lock, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so where's Annie going? Annie needs to decide when he wants to go still. No, oh, well, the decision's there. It's just. Yeah. I think he still uses it. I think he used a. R2D2 charge, you only had one there, you should have had two. So before after you activate. Is it after you activate now? Uh double checking that? Yes. Yeah, after, after you activate. activate, yeah. I think he's getting been... deplete to repair one damage card. Recover one shield or remove one device. Yes. So he repaired the damage card there. So he went back up to two hole. Hang on, if I'm reading that correctly, remove one device at range zero to one. Could, could you take away bombs with that? Yes, correct. Wow, okay. Yep. Never seen that, but that's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh, and that is a bump. Yeah, you can still take the red focus, but... Uh, it's going to be jammed away. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, so... Let him roll. I, I, I would in this play maybe just use, did not take the focus. Um, unless, oh, but the thing is, is he's probably going to get a focus being passed onto him from any of the other. No, not the arcs, eh? But he can potentially get a target lock on someone from the arcs. Um, from the arcs, I think it's from Jag. From, from arcs, yes, from Jagger. Yeah. Jack can get a give a dog lock to the defender. So obviously, if he still has a jam at that time, then he won't be able to get the dog lock. If he if he wants it. so. Yeah, but I think they are over moving, so he's not going to take that option. I think. No, he's not. So it is midnight shooting first. Midnight did lock Anakin. Uh, Anakin would have had to, yeah, he's got loose stabilizer. I just realized that. That's now why he went forward instead of trying to turn. Yeah, uh, so that is another hit on Anakin. Anakin didn't roll any paint. Oops, sorry, wrong side. Ugh, Anakin did only roll paint. 
it is two blanks, and Anakin went down to one hull again. So Anakin returning fire? Yep. He is. So, being three dice, he's shooting at one of the Thai FOs. I presume closest by would be Scorch. If he's running range one. Range two and range three on all the other ones. Yeah, if, if um, John Fratoy is taking out three dice, then he's definitely going for one of the FOs. Mm hmm. Let's miss a tie. Yeah. Whisper, and you got two. Okay. Going for Scorch. Range one Scorch. Two hits. He's got a deplete, so you can't do more than three, and then it's two, babe. Can't do more than two hits. The deplete now goes away. Yeah, the plate goes away, so... But, yeah, there's only one attack at that specific time. Okay, Kylo has got a shot. He's getting a range 2 shot on Jag. And that will be two dice. Oh, wait, hang on. What is he firing with? Looks like he's firing a missile or something. He's got concussion missiles. He yes. Spend Ian has got instinctive aim as well. So concussion missiles on Jag. Yep. Concussion missiles on Jag. And that is a hit and a crit. And then Jag rolling one blank, but That's on. Yeah. There is a reroll option, isn't there? A reroll from? Let me just double check again. Yeah, Wolf. No, there's two shields from yep. Jack. No reroll options, yeah. The one that's Wolf has got the ability to, to roll additional. And recover to and... reroll, yeah, as well. Okay, it's you shooting who? Yep, so Anakin had to expose one of his damage cards because of concussion, and he just exposed Fudic. Okay, so Anakin is getting a Fudic. Okay, well, it's really awesome. I mean, Annie, are you okay? I think Annie is just hanging on a 3D. Arnie, are you okay? Uh, I am okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, so Mr. Malarus is shooting. He Good is also sh he's shooting, I think he's also shooting concussion missiles. Because he got oh, cluster missiles. He's got cluster missiles. So Malarus has got cluster missiles and he's shooting at Anakin. Ooh. Yeah. Thank you for guys for pinging. Uh, two hits in a blank. Cluster missiles, Anakin is oh, trying to... one. Yeah, and that is the last shot, the last hit for Anakin. And that's a crit because of Fulik. Isn't it? No, 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 sorry, I'm thinking of uh, Hallbridge. So that's Anakin down, another two points for John. And that... Miller is firing on Jag. That's uh, Gallic firing on Jag. Oh, is it Gallic? Sorry. Yeah, Gallic firing on Jag. Range 3. 1 of 8. It's 1 of 8 on blank. Yeah, it's full. So I see the shot there. And that's one more shield on Jag, right? Uh, yes, there. So Jag got no shields left. Good. Yo. So I missed that ping now. That is now. Okay, so it's oddball shooting first. Oddball shooting at DT 789. 798. 789. <laughs> 789 had a big mess of stomach. Um... <laughs> That's why 6 was afraid of 7. I know, right? 
All right, so we'll do focuses in the blank and changing that focuses to hits with the focus token and two evades. So uh, DT just saying, sorry. If I say no. If I say no, if I say no, woo. <laughs> All right. That is a range one shot from Scorch hitting no one because Anakin is bye bye. Then we've got DT shooting. So DT can take a strain if he wants to to add additional he dice. Is doing so. And Ooh. a deplete. No, a strain and a. Oh, uh, stress. Sorry. Yeah, but because he's got uh, uh, deuterium power cells. Um, uh, why is he taking a stress? You should have taken a strain, not a stress. I do not know. I he's supposed no. He's supposed to take a strain to hit that extra dice. And uh, okay. Use the deuterium power cells for that. Yeah, I was thinking now. The deuterium power cells is easy. before you would gain one non-lock token. If you are not stressed, you may spend one energy to gain one stress token instead. Yes, one knock token and gain one disarm token to recover it before you would... Uh, okay, cool. So that non lock token strain is a stress now. Okay, cool. So the strain did turn to... Oh, that's correct. I was on the right path. <laughs> you were indeed. Okay. Okay, so Peter's shooting now. That is a crit in the uh, eyeball. Yeah, one crit, one focus. One crit, one focus. And he focused up. Crit and focus and evade, evade, focus. Sure. Wow. Cool. So there's a lot being acquired by Jack. Yeah. That was a shot from, uh, what's his name? It says from Wolf, right? It seems so. Yeah, the previous shot from Wolf, Wolf was initiative 4. And now it's Padme. So Padme also shooting at Jag. And he's shooting the Proton Torpedoes. Yep. Ah, not Jag, sorry. At DT. Padme is shooting at DT and he's doing his Proton Torpedoes. So that's 4 dice from Padme. And DT only has his normal 3 it's a crit, hit, and 2 blanks. And turning that one crit, uh, turning normally to crit because of torpedoes and rerolling quickly. And that is another hit and a focus. Oh! Ooh, and that's a potential dead. Potential dead. Oops. It's one shield and two crits going in. Yeah. If I was having one shield, being the upgrade, but the first crit is console fire. The second crit is also console fire. Also two console fires on Mr. DT. So one shield and two crits. And two console fires. So console fire, guys, is before you engage, you roll one attack die on a hit result, you suffer one damage. That brings half points up for Peter as well on this FO ship. Um, yeah, he's gonna want to get rid of those consoles, yeah. <laughs> or at least one of them. What yeah, he's gonna so have to... DT only being three, three points. Uh, Peter gains one point for that half points. So, uh, that is then going to possibly be a range either range, yeah, it's a range two shot from Jag. I think he's going to try and finish off DT, maybe. Oh, is he going to go for Gallic? Is he going to go for the extra two points? Mm, he only, waiting for Peter to make the call. Yeah, exactly. He only needs that one hit through on DT. To be a trade-off then for, for Anakin. They both range two. Yeah. But um, Jag does have the lock on DT. So he's going, okay. on, DT. going on DT. Range two. 
that he is and a crit. He's gonna Oops. use that lock. Use him while you have him. Okay, that changes to a hit crit and he uses the lock uh, uses the focus, right? Yes, he uses the focus. So it's Oops. hit hit crit. Uh, sorry, DT evaded one, so it's just hit crit. Uh, and he was a direct. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, that's more than enough. Yeah. The direct that's hits a on DT. Bit of overkill on DT there. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's DT down. Peter moving up to five points in total. And now they have to add one more point each for scoring. So it's six, seven. Here in this game between Canada and South Africa, Peter facing John Francois. That was an, yeah, that uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think that trade off was a bit meh. I mean, losing Anakin is never fun. Well, it's that's great. Um, losing Anakin is never fun, yes. But both these lists are structured in such a way that the points given away is not. Extremely massive. The only big points given away here is Kylo. Um, with the whole Republic list being four points each. And the rest of all the Tyrapos being three. Yes, Peter will have to shoot more ships down to get more points. Um, but yeah, one point difference trade-off? Eh, it's, it's, okay. it's okay. <laughs> I still feel the fact that Kylo is still on the board is a bit of a problem. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, it's only... Okay, well, never mind. It's round four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, going on to round five, should I say? Sorry, going on to round five. Yeah. Sorry, I missed that round counter there. Or turn counter. But yeah, like having. Leaving Kylo alone, uh, I don't know. I, I don't feel that it's a wise move. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you know, in this game, you shoot at what's presented at you. Correct, yeah. And I think from, from this specific move coming now, there might be opportunity for. Um, thank you, Peter Mayer. Yes, we did establish that. <laughs> I know it's only late that I saw that message. Uh, Bow cells did get rid of the strain, yes. Um, I think what I was going to say now, Peter has got the opportunity to potentially, if Kylo moves around and he moves his Jag around, he might get a veteran tail gunner shot. Jag has got a veteran well, tail gunner, There'll right? definitely be some rear shots, but... Yeah. Uh, Jag uh, has got a veteran tail gunner. Slightly less effective shot. Yeah, two shots is better than one. <laughs> that's true. Always true. Yeah, that's I when I tried to fly my first order with with my Thai SFs, I always tried to get that rear shot as well because of the bonus option I get because of special forces gunner. I always tried to do that. Never, it, it doesn't always work, but trying and it not working always is at least a try. Well, I mean, with any sort of guns on, at least you can put pressure and take, you know, strip off any tokens or things. So, Correct. I mean, as long as you got more than one shot on him, then, you know, having that red shot isn't so bad. Correct. I think that's also where this list sort of shines, especially if you fly those arcs together. Yeah. You're definitely going to have more than one shot coming in. Yeah. And I think with, I mean, with where Jag is now at the moment, he can just do that two bank and he should be able to get a potential block as well. Oh, that was a close road roll. Peter taking it by one hit. So Peter takes the initiative in this round. So, I mean, Peter's built up the, the skill Ooh, to actually three. keep this list information, which is quite good. That's Especially good, yeah. With, well, with the three arcs, I would say. Three bank to the left. That is interesting. Another three bank to the left here from the arcs. Yeah, so he's keeping Jag and Wolf together. Mm -hmm. And let's see if he turns Oddball in or if he's gonna keep him there somewhere as well going forward. I wonder if he's gonna go forward or he might turn in here. So Peter's so list is basically going. Except, yeah, in front of John Pierre's, John Francois' list. Sorry, like I said, we got a JP here in South Africa as well, every single time. <laughs> no, 
I think he is just going to go forward with Oddball. Ooh, that's a three hard left turn here from Scorch. And then Kylo. No, it's first uh, Oddball. Mm. Oh, he's turning in. Oh, I think you want to go for the bump there on Kylo. Yeah, I don't and... think he was expecting Scorch to come in so hard. Okay, so two lifts hard with a stress focus. Ooh, Kylo bumps his own. Oh, um, no, he would have ended on. He would have ended on the friendly, yeah. Oh, on an enemy ship. Damn. Damn. So, so you can take a. <laughs> Damn. You just wanted to roll dice, eh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want Kylo to take as much damage as he can. No. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, that's, no. just me. that's just me. It, it's it's my bias against FO, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, look, Kylo. If as long as Kylo's on the board, John Francois has got a very very good chance of winning this. Yeah. And I mean, I know it's it's very early game still, but Kylo, as I've said from the beginning, leaving him alone is, <laughs> yeah. It's not always the best choice. Well, not necessarily always the best choice. It's just going to be difficult to take him down once you leave him. Yeah, he becomes a problem. Correct. So, Malaris is in pink, and I think he took his, his, so, his ability. Yeah, get one stress Man token, so you can manipulate the dice. Midnight firing and jag. We got a focus crit. Hit crit. Focus crit. The jag spend is. Oh, did, yes. he, did, he, did he re roll that? No, he had a focus. He used, I think he used the target lock. He used a target lock, yeah. Because he had a target lock. Oh no, he's got Predator. He's got a Predator shot, sorry. <laughs> oh, so I missed that. My bad, guys. Anyway, My um, bad. <laughs> Jag evaded. evaded one, so he Jag takes just crit. takes... Oh, he crack shot at it. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, he's got Predator and crack shot. Yeah. So weapons failure. And black shot, so that's two down with the weapons failure on Jag. But if he used the crack shot, why is the charge still there? I uh, should have flipped the charge. No, 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 he did not use the crack. No, he did use the crack shot, yeah. He did. Well, let's see if he is the rectified the board just now. So it's wolf firing, a hard ball firing. Who at? That's the question. Is he going to go a range? Ping fire speed or a ping? There we go. Yeah, cracker was used, but they must just spend the surge. He did. He just turned it over now. I don't see it turned over. He oh, turned sorry. Over I'm looking at. I'm looking at. Um... Okay, so Peter's choosing who to shoot with. No. Or shoot at. Sorry. Midnight shot. Midnight's crack shot needs to be spent. Uh, you are correct. Not scorch. Midnight's crack shot. Okay. Uh, well, I'm not going to interfere. <laughs> Okay, so we'll just get Captain quickly to interfere. <laughs> okay, so Oddball firing on Midnight. And that is a hit going in. So that's minus a shield. Oh, never mind, they. They fixed it. Crack shot. Okay, crack shot on midnight, yes. Crack shot okay. on midnight. Jag checking for that side arc. Mm -hmm, to give the dog lock. Okay, so sorry, I missed that whole shot now. Um, so it was oddball on. Fired on midnight and he did one damage, so he took one shield off. The so midnight one shield off. Okay, cool. Jag cool, 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 cool. taking the lock on midnight. And okay. I'll have 
Is that Malaris? Yeah, I think it's Malaris. He's shooting at Jag. Range 1. That is, he did focus and Jag using his focus to change his focus around to a bay. The so Jag taking one more hit. Yep. So he's on two hull. Uh, that was a cluster missile from Maris. That was a cluster missile from Maris, right? Yeah. For some reason, I zoned out and I didn't catch that one. So cluster missile, <laughs> cluster missile from Maris. Ooh, that's a good shot from Kylo. Yeah, that's the missile from Malaris. Um, so Kylo just went into Oddball with a mm -hmm. hit hit crit crit. And uh, Oddball evaded one, so burning off three shields. Cool, thank you. Uh, just give me a second. I pressed the button here now. That always don't push the button, Didi. <laughs> Sorry, just check it for me, please. Um, Wolf checking arc. Wolf appears to be choosing. Looks like Gallic. Yes, Wolf's choosing Gallic as his target. Okay. So we have Wolf firing four dice for the range one shot. Yeah. And we get a hit hit crit. Gallic rolling three, gets two focuses. He's spending his focus. Mm -hmm. And taking a crit. Damaged engine. Okay, so Gallic is a focus, a uh, shield, and a crit, right? Uh, yes. Gallic is a shield and a crit, damaged engine. That is correct. Cool. Thank you. Padme taking a lock on Gallic. Padme Firing rolling. Two portal torpedoes. Yep, four dice. And yep. that's a hit hit and a crit. Spending the target lock to reroll one into a blank. So it's just hit hit crit from Padme. And Gallic says no. Evades all hits. Nice. Okay, so next we have Scorch. Mm -hmm. Looks like taking the range one, no, range two into Padme. If I'm not mistaken, Padme's got two blades. Yep. Yes. So you took a stress day to add a third dice. You use the focus. Padme getting two evades and losing one shield. Okay, one shield and bad way. Okay, okay, so jab. Batman's got a shield down. Batman's got two shields, the one still left. Jag taking a shot on. He's got both Malarus and... Does he have Malarus? Uh, and Malarus in, in range one. I think he might shoot a range one at. The Gallic's no, he's range going. Zero. He's going Gallic. Oh, because Gallic is damaged. Well, Gallic bump. Yeah, but uh, Gallic is more prone to die. Yeah, yeah. Because he's taking two dice and two focuses. He doesn't need to roll anything because it can't be modified. All 
Right. Do we have any more shots going through? Or is that scoring? That's scoring now, yeah. That's scoring. Okay, cool. Right. So we've got one point each for each of these guys and two points extra for half points on um Lieutenant Gallic, is it? Gallic's only one point. So it's eight ten for Canada. Oh, Kylo just moving his stress back into place. Sorry. I was like, why does Kylo all of a sudden get a stress now? <laughs> it was, it was uh, just them replacing it to the right spot. Yes. Okay, but so we're all back to these, dials. All these guys are stressed now. Almost all. Almost all of them, yeah. So turn six coming up now. Um, Padme is supposed to get her passive senses mm. back. I think there might be a missed opportunity, I think. We have a potential missed opportunity. There we go. Passive senses charge come back from Padme. Yeah, I don't even use, don't think even use that. Use it on the... <laughs> what's that? So Padme's proton torpedoes are completely spent. Yes. Um, track shot is spent on midnight. Um, damage engine and two cluster missiles spent on Malarus. And Kylo's spent two concussion missiles. Yes, correct. Uh, two concussion. So I need to quickly just try and see what uh, the junkies is going on here. What did you break? So there's a shortcut on this uh, overlay. So if I press shift one, something happens. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the, 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 what's the name is the names and stuff goes wider. Now I don't know if it's part of, of the streaming software. It won't be. No, it's part of the part of the overlay. Now I'm just trying to figure out what the hell is going on there. So here's an idea. Hmm? Don't push it. I'm trying not to, but if I <laughs> shift one support you shortcut key for the camera angles. So if oh, I'm okay. if I'm if I'm outside of the TTS game and I press shift F1, it influences the overlay. Yeah. Technical difficulties. It's uh, the problem of having three screens, eh? <laughs> First of all, <laughs> three speed. Yay. Turn six uh, on his way, guys. Um, so Peter's locked in on Jag and Oddball. Yeah. He's busy doing Wolf now. We really need to find out what is the. And now we have to see what he's going to do with Old Padme. Because I'm thinking Padme, Padme is going to get caught in the little kill box now. Could be. Yeah, I think I've fixed the overlay for now. Yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking that Kylo is going to do a turn just to get rid of that stress and try and just stay a little bit safe. Unless mm -hmm. he goes straight, just to get the range away from these two, uh, from Wolf and Jag. Um, yo. I think, uh, but Jag, until he eventually takes the last hit in the face, probably wants to get rid of that weapons failure. Oh, no. Well, he can action to repair. That's correct, yeah. That's what I'm saying. He probably will want, to, want to get rid of that. Um, because most of those Thai FOs are stressed, they're not going to turn around. Which means there is a little bit of opportunity for Jack to be able to get rid of that weapons uh, failure to be able to use the rear cannons properly. I mean, the only, the only FO that I see catching Jag is Midnight at the moment. Yeah. So unless he gets a proper shot on... 
Hmm. This is still a very close game. Eight points to ten, Canada leading. And no one is none the wiser on what the time is. Exactly. It is active. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so welcome everybody watching my stream, and thank you all for the subscriptions we had this past two weeks. Really appreciate the support. And first player is Jean Francois, moving the figure over this way. Jag moving. Jack moving a three back left. Yeah, it's, I would say it's a good move. It's a good move. He doesn't have stress, so he can get rid of the weapons failure. Yep, there we go. Called it. No weapons failure. So the only thing that Midnight could be doing here is doing it too hard or something to try and catch Jag. Yeah. Which means that uh, he still has a target lock on Jack, which means he won't. Jag will not be able to modify dice anyway. Scorch doing it too hard and removing a stress. Taking a focus. Too He's hard left. Too hard. That is bump. going to bump a enemy ship, so you can still do a stress focus. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it looks like we're coming up to the end time. I mean, if this game started an hour ago... Well, you never know. We'll, we're, we're getting to the end rounds, yeah. Getting so it's either this or the next one that'll be the last round. So, let's see. All depends how quickly these guys play their rounds. Their turns. Okay, we have Padme taking a focus. Kylo penning, uh, doing a jam, it seems. Mm -hmm. Gallic bumping into Padme, taking that stress focus. Who did he put a jam into? I Kylo didn't, didn't, Kylo didn't move, did he? Don't know why he was pinging. Oh, Kyla didn't move. Ping the force. Yeah, yeah, he, he didn't, but I, he pinged um, on his card for some reason. Missed why. I think oh. it was probably for the force. Anyway, Kylo doing a three turn out. Mm -hmm. To a bank to the right. Taking a focus and turning his turret to the back. This is the turret, Kylo. And we have Oddball doing a two bank to the right as well. No bumping there. Removing the stress. Yep. And he is probably just going to focus up, I think. Yep, taking the focus action. So, if Midnight turns in left now, which yep. he did, there is going to be a Wolf and Oddball waiting for him. So There's a very good chance Midnight's going to burn before he can fire. No, Midnight's first. Oh. Yep. Mid oh, shit. Midnight's is six. Sorry. My yeah. bad. Midnight <laughs> is going to definitely be firing first. Midnight is in his sub six. Yes. So he's going to have definite range one shot on Jag and he's going to take it. Yeah. Jag have two holes left. Why would you not? Exactly. Oh, there goes the dice off the table. Bye. Yeah. Apologies for that. I still don't know why my game has that little lag. Ooh. Um. Midnight getting one hit and one focus there. One hit, one focus in the blank. He can spend his focus to guarantee the hits, but he might not to keep it for the counter attack. So, is he going to use a target lock? Yes, he's using his target he lock. Is. So, hit focus. So, hit, hit, and focus. And he is. Not spending his focus, he doesn't need to spend his focus. I think that is two hits there on Jag. Um, 
That does look like it's two. Let's see if Peter pulls. I don't think there's any... Peter's trying to see how he could get away with this. <laughs> so the range two from Jag, um, he's obviously going to potentially pop a toggle lock on someone else. Or he can, he can't modify the dice. Jag had, uh, oh what, there's no more, there's no more dog lock. So you can modify the dice now, can't uh, Yes, there's no more dog lock. If he has him locked. There's no more lock, so I think that's a, yeah, you can modify. That okay. is, that is a good call. So, Jag only taking one? Yeah, Jack only taking one. He used um, what's his name's this uh, focus, uh, oddball's focus. So that's a Kylo range two shot out into oddball. Yeah, it's going to be a range two shot into oddball. There was a shot that just happened, but I missed which who that was. Anyway, that's a focus and a crit. Um. Is Kylo spending the focus? It seems like he is. Okay, we can pick up this, so that happens now. So, Jag... Yeah. Or Pop Oddball, sorry. Oddball lost all four of your shields and two hits. Yeah. And then... That is Oddball... At... Off points. Okay. So... Range one into midnight from Oddball. Yep. And then there's obviously. Why did he pick both now? Because he's gonna take the rear shot into Kylo next. He does have it in dog gunner, yes. Okay, so first shot into midnight, crit and a hit. In two blanks. No, he's spending the focus. Evade yeah, that yeah. shot. Evade the And Oddball's now taking Ooh. the rear shot into Kylo. Two shots out the back. 2v3. Oh, only one damage. Kylo says no. Kylo evades it. Okay. I think there's a... Scorch. Scorch has got a Padme shot. Or a... Yeah, Padme and a Wolf shot. He is. What is he going to do? He's going to go a Batman or going to go on a Wolf? Hmm. It's going to be interesting. Because Scorch can it. Scorch can add that stress to get a three dice. So looks like he is adding this. Is he going to add the stress for four dice attack on Batman? Yes, he yes, is. Yes, he is. Four dice on Batman, and he gets a crit, hit, hit, and a blank. He doesn't have. Padme rolling two dice. Padme has a focus, so there's two focuses. Evade Y uh, focuses on green dice. Is he going to spin the focus on Padme? You will have to. Yep, he spins a focus on Padme, so Padme's. Focuses turns both to evade, so just one shield and Batman. Yeah. Yep, one shield and Batman. Um Why? Why was their focus turned back again? Okay, so what does Scorch have? Oh Scorch crack shot. Oh, okay. Yep, Scorch is crack shot, yes. With that so, confusion uh, earlier, we missed it. <laughs> we forgot about it. <laughs> Padme losing a shield and then taking a blinded pilot. Alright. We have Wolf firing on midnight. Okay, so Padme taking another shield, another hit, and. So Wolf getting a. Hit and two focuses. He spends the focus to make it three hits. 
Midnight rolls a blank focus and a evade and takes two, two hits. hits. So midnight okay. sitting on one hole as well. Yeah, that's half points for Peter as well on that one. Um, Peter getting one point for that engagement. And Jag lives another day, so Jag can shoot out the back. That's all the fours, eh? Yes. I think so. Yes. So now it is Jag shooting out the back to midnight, I think. No, it's still Batman to shoot. Batman shooting at midnight. Batman at midnight, rolling a crit in the blank. And midnight saying, uh, not the bow, but my... <laughs> I'm a poet and I don't even know it. Eh? <laughs> not today, Batman. So there is a rear shot opportunity from Jag, because Jag survived the shot against Midnight. Range one out the rear. That is three dice from Peter. Jag into Midnight. This could be the final blow. He, he. Okay. The lock. Two hits. He's staying locked. Oh, that's the third three. hit. And that is a dead Midnight. One of eight for Midnight. But yep. not, enough. not enough. That is definitely a, a dead midnight. Okay, so midnight takes the takes the schneeble. So end of this round, points adding up. Twelve to fifteen. Canada leading fifteen points to twelve. Two ships down for Jean Francois. Jag holding on a thread with one hull left. Anakin down on the Republic side. Padme also holding on a thread with one oddball. Still in a good state. Took a bit of damage. And um, round seven on its way. Turn seven. Did they take all the half points? Yes, they did. Okay. Yeah, I've got my overlay as 12, 15 as well. So, right, well, back to dolls. Peter leveled the playing field here, four ships to four ships. So, uh, we'll have to see what happens now. So, if they put the dolls down, they can finish this round. Depending on how many time is left, we don't know. It was a random timer. I see that as well. <laughs> so how long that timer isn't actually running at the moment. It should oh, well. be. Yeah, like I, like I said, it was either the the round that we just had or this next round that might be the last round. Yeah. Might be soon. So this is going to definitely be an interesting round. I mean, I don't see Kylo coming back into this fight. Um, we've got two tires that are already pointing away, and Scorch could easily just turn tail and run. Mm. So, Manorus does have the opportunity to turn around. He doesn't have stress, as far as I can see. Uh, oh, he does. Manorus has got stress. So, that may bump to take a focus stress. So the only tie that can turn around is Gallic. I'm thinking like to secure victory. Uh, if Jean Francois does a wise move and just runs, there's a good chance he'll win it. Yeah. Because Peter has to take out at least one more ship to to get his points higher again. Well, so... potentially, potentially two. Because if he gets one more ship, he's going up to fifteen. Uh, uh, yeah. 
uh, he might even tie if he takes one ship out and get points he's gonna tie yeah and if john pierre doesn't take out any other other ships Ugh, john pierre and john francois sorry guys uh, apologies canadian guys <laughs> apologize so, I mean, this is this is usually where, in especially with the objective-based games now in X-Wing, where it's like, what is your call? And Correct. I've seen so many games like where the the person in the lead has the upper hand, and all they need to do is just run. Yeah. And they decide no, they're going to turn around and fight, and that's where they lose it. Okay, so. Start of this next round, we've got Peter taking it. He has the initiative. Going with Jag. Jag going Jag. forward. Going forward, yeah. And he is getting rid of that token that was for the previous weapons failure. Bank right one, mm -hmm. off. Taking the stress off. Taking the focus. Focusing up, yeah. One bank from Padme is definitely going to try and get rid of Malaris. Malaris still in, as far as I know, good position by not having any... No, Malaris doesn't have any damage, no. Bump by Scorch. Yep. And there's, there's the timer. The timer. <laughs> there's the timer. So this is definitely the last round. Guys, just press on equity to stop it. <laughs> there we go, I got it. <laughs> Alright, Manor is doing a one bang to the left, getting rid of that stress for taking the invade. Question is that gonna be enough? Trying to get oh. defensive here. Um he's got damage engine. But that's only for hard turns, yes. Hard turns is red. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that is Kylo with a hard three and a boost forward. That's all he can do. Cool. So first initiative in first engagement will be oddball. Is he going to shoot on who? He's got a range one option on Scorch. Scorch. Range two option on Malarus. Um, Joe, this is going to be a tough call. Well, they both essentially the same. But Scorch, I think, might be a better option. Yeah, Scorch range, range one, one shot with a focus. Yeah. So, if he kills out Scorch outright and they go for points, this is going to be a tie. Is he going to spend the focus? He's going yeah. for it. So, three hits on Scorch might not be enough because he needs at least four. Oh, Scorch evades. And Scorch says no. Scorch is the going to burn me, bro! <laughs> Scorch, get it? Scorch, but Sorry. <laughs> Um, Maris and Kylo is completely out of shooting range. There is a range two shot on Oddball from uh, who we got at the bottom of Gallic. And there's a range two shot on Padme as well, a range three shot on Wolf. So, who is he going for? Going Paddy. For I mean, Padman, so. Going for the penny. Better may as well blind the pilot. Getting the stress. Hit crit. Uh, why is he doing three dice? Oh, it's Gallic. Hang on, Gallic has got a different ability. Hang on. Uh, well, it was evaded. Was that a tractor beam shot? Gallic can spend. No, get it. Why, why was that? Yeah. There's three shot, three dice, so it might have been attractive beam. beam. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna make a difference. It was evaded, made no difference. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's three shots. That was Wolf. He recovered a surge to do three dice out the back. And that was onto Scorch. Onto, uh, uh, Scorch. That was a hit focus in the blank. Scorch still needs to roll. Okay, he's turning the focus. He spent someone else's focus. Scorch has got a focus. He can turn it as well. He's got a very blank focus. He turns that as well. So that's nothing on Scorch. Oh, and then Padme has got a shot range 2 on Mon Malaris. Padme hitting a focus blank. Focus blank. Focus hit. Sorry. Yo. Oh, these. These ty Epo's dice is on fire this last round, eh? Defense dice. Yo. So. I think there's going to be a range two shot on potentially Oddball or Wolf. Oh. Unmodified shot on Padme. I'm rolling a crit in the head. Padme, yes, Padme saying no. And then the last person to shoot will be Jag, whether he's got arc or range or anything. No, not indeed. No. So that's just one scenario point for each player. Taking the score up to 16-13. So guys, yes, very, very close game. Um, only two ships going down on John Francois' side. One ship going down on Peter's side. Two ships, half points. But in the end, Canada took it 16-13. Very tight game. Uh, very good game. Interesting game. Um, so, yeah, guys. Um, thank you very much for watching. Seven turns. Game is done. So yeah, guys, thank you very much. Uh, Carl, thank you very much for popping in. No problem. And uh, thank you very much for the assistance. And uh, we will see you guys soon. Thank you for watching. And goodbye. Bye.